Hello everyone, my name is Natalie and this is Rethink Fabulous. Today we are going to go treasure hunting at my local thrift stores. Alright, so as we begin, I'm just looking at the furniture in the very beginning and I'm not really seeing a lot in this area today. Um, there were a couple of little things, but nothing that really caught my attention. As I turn the corner here, I did see this old, like vintage desk chair that I thought was pretty neat, but it was that they were asking $15. And then there's this little stool that was only $5 that I think would have been really neat upcycled. Now this was a really nice vase with a plant in it that I think I could have painted, but I just didn't want to mess with it. <laughs> All right, now this table I think would be really nice painted maybe black metal. And then there were these two little stands here for $5 each that were vintage and I thought they were really nice as well. Now we're over here at the lamp section and I did find a lamp that had a bird on it and I'll show it at the end of the video but I lost that footage I guess here are some vintage dishware this is a vintage cake stand and it was so beautiful I think it was eight dollars and then here are some vintage dishes and a vintage doll and some figurines and I love this big pitcher and bowl set. All right, I always like to look at the pots and pans to see if there's any high-end pots and pans, but there was really nothing on this particular day. I saw a couple of these little glass dishes and some of them were vintage and I did end up getting a few of them and I'll show you that at the end of the video as well. I thought this little bowl was really neat. It had the little divider in it, it was only $2. And then this is either Pyrex or Corningware. I'm not really sure which one, but those lids are actually uh, worth money because they're vintage. So I put it in my basket and we'll see if I end up with it. And here is another beautiful vintage piece. And then, um, I saw these salt and pepper shakers. I believe they're Anchor and Hawking. Um, and I just, they reminded me of my grandmother. So I just love them. And here is this little container there in the back with the blue on it. Um, it had kind of an old lid on it, it was pretty neat. And then over here is like kind of a craft area. And um, I found some uh, cross stitch hoops and also these wooden dowels and then I always like to look through the stamps and see if there's anything you know neat that I can use when I'm crafting I really didn't find much in the stamps this time but I love to check and make sure I don't find here anything. I'm just checking and out here, some of the um, florals kind of the floral there, there wasn't really, really wasn't much on um, this particular the day department. I did find these but right but in next the end, to the I floral ended up area not getting are them. the vases which is one of my favorite and then places we to head look right the over to the vases this, pretty this was a really pretty arrangement vase. I love the vase that it was in and, uh, but I didn't really need it now this little guy was really was like cute um, and it was only a dollar fifty so I put it in a cart, cart and we'll see and we'll if I end up getting it I always like to, always look, like at to look at the containers because regardless of, containers of what color you don't they like are, the color you can of always them, spray you paint always them or chalk paint, paint them. them. Same and, with all of these um, glass I love the glassware um, bases. As well. bases. You can always just spray paint so many them or add texture to them, them. And really I did change find it up. this one now, that this I thought would be really nice pretty, upside, down, upside down with a little finial on top to make a cloche. That's what I'm thinking that I'm going to do with this one. And I ended up finding that big one and then a small 
smaller one that now, matched it. I really it. like this one and right this, here. I thought, this, this lime, kind of lime green one green. I thought was really pretty. They, they were, were asking, asking too much, much for it, but I think it would be so pretty painted. painted. Um, and this piece of piece pottery was $5. Painted. It was $5. I think it would also be really pretty painted, and more of a neutral color. And this next big glass vase was an anchor hawking vase that matched those pepper salt This big glass vase that I just passed was an anchor hawking Base, I and I only wanted three this dollars for it. it Match your salt and pepper um, shakers. I love white dishes. Um, so all right, this really is a cute. really cute little uh, water pitcher type thing for three dollars. I love the white dishes, so I thought that was really pretty. And then here we're just looking at some of the, you know, little home decor area. Um, I love this little pair. It was only a dollar. I thought that would be really fun to do a DIY with. And these little wine corks uh, were beautiful. I have a couple of them, but um, I didn't end up get end up getting those, but I thought they were really pretty. And this I thought was kind of cool. It was a dollar, dollar fifty, and it's just an old vintage jewelry case that maybe a necklace came in. And I love that old vintage green velvet on it. All right, here's a little piggy bank that was probably old. And it was just this cute little hamburger. And then um, I found like this glass bottle I thought was pretty. And this was a vintage piece of uh, dishware as well. And it was $4. And I thought it was really pretty. Now I saw this little, uh, look like a glass bell, but I wanted to use it on the top of a cloche, so I put it in my cart, and we'll see if I ended up getting that one as well. I really like the design of this yellow vase here and these little yellow owls. They would be so pretty painted. Yellow just isn't really my color, but you could paint it any color. Now this is a vintage milk glass. I thought these little candle holders were cute. I think they were a dollar each, but they also would be really cute to make a riser. And then there was a lot of metal home decor here. Um, here's like a little bracket for maybe a shelf, some little wreath holders. And um, then I came across this little lantern. And the glass was out of two of the doors, but it was tucked inside and it wasn't broken. I think it was either five or eight dollars, and I just thought that was really cute. And then there was this piece of silver that was really pretty, this little basket. And here is a couple of brass candle holders that hang on the wall and some baskets i mean you always have to look at the baskets at a thrift store like an apple basket and this is so cute it's like a chip and salsa basket it was really nicely made but i just didn't need any baskets right now but make sure to always check the basket area all right here i'm looking at the pillows and i came across these beautiful velvet um, green pillows that i think are going to be perfect for spring and there was two of them, so I did end up grabbing both of those and putting them in my cart. And then at the end of my shopping, I will see if I uh, want them. Now this is a brand new comforter. It was like gathered all over and it had two shams with it. In this picture, it doesn't really show the color, but it was a really pretty light pink. And it was only $6. Looking through the fabric here, I really didn't see much this time. Usually I can find some lace or some nice white cotton fabric, but I really didn't find anything on this trip. Okay, and now we are gonna look at the glasses. I always love to look in this area as well because a lot of times I can find some really beautiful vintage glasses and they just seem to be made a lot better than the ones nowadays. 
So here's some wine glasses that were pretty. Um, I really didn't find much this time, but usually there's always something there that I really uh, like. And then I like to look in the plates as well and um, see if there's any vintage plates or any vintage bowls. These looked kind of old, but I wasn't really sure if they were vintage or not. I also like to look for white bowls and white plates because I really like white dishes. Um, there were a couple um, white ones there, but there wasn't any kind of a set. Now, this is the outdoor yard sale part of my thrift store. It's just out back and it has some bigger items. So I like to look in this area. Um, once in a while, I'll find something really neat. Now, these two little shutter looking things would be great for a DIY. There was this big kind of like basket thing there on the bottom. And there's usually like trays and there's like a little paddle and um, just some wood pieces. Now here's all the pictures and the frames and I'm going along and I see this picture. You guys, I could tell it was super old and I absolutely loved it, so I grabbed it. All right, now let's head to the second thrift store. So at this thrift store, it's a little bit smaller, but they do have some kind of neat things once in a while. Here's some uh, glassware and just uh, like a fish tank, some greens. Um, I didn't really see too much right in the beginning of this thrift store, but they did have, um, you know, like cell phone cases. They had these uh, candle holders, um, cute little bunny print that would have been really cute uh, framed and some new socks. And here are just some cute little pictures and lots and lots of scarves, which some of these with this chunky style would be great for winter DIYs. And then we're just gonna look over here and I'm going along and I saw something, here's some frames that I thought were kind of cool, but then I saw something that caught my eye and it was this cake. It is a fake cake, it was 99 cents. It's just spongy, but it looks so real. And I thought that would be so cute sitting on a cake plate. And then um, I'm just continuing to look around, finding, you know, baskets and that type of stuff. And then towards the bottom, I saw a record player. Now record players are really trendy right now and they're actually starting to sell records again at Walmart. And then here's just some ties and some more baskets. And this is like, um, you know, like candle holders and decorative balls and framed pictures. And then there was this picture. It was actually a clock in the middle and then it was a three piece picture. That was kind of interesting. There's a little candle. And this uh, lamp was really cool and unique. And just some more greenery. And then there was this hand painted picture of like a pine branch that I thought was really, really pretty. And just some more lamps, a brass lamp there, some candle holders, a few bags, and then some books. I always like to look at the books and take off that uh, paper cover and just see what the hard cover is like. Um, make sure that it has, you know, um, a real nice color that I can use to decorate with. And then I always look at the material and the games. Sometimes you can find neat pieces from games to use in DIYs and um, just kind of some interesting stuff here. I didn't really find much, but I did find a couple of things, uh, some cookbooks, um, DVDs, and VHS tapes, which I haven't seen those in a while. Here's some pots and pans. Um, that little pan there in the middle would be kind of cool for a DIY painted, and that little uh, container that those um, 
utensils were in were, was also neat. It was made out of uh, pottery. And then um, I just like to look at like their trays. That one I thought was silver, but it wasn't. It was just a, a fake silver. Um, their bowls, their cups. A lot, a lot of times I'll see vintage stuff here. And I did find uh, this milk glass um, here in just a second. Uh, right there is the milk glass. It's the same one that I saw at the other thrift store, and it was $1.99 at this one. And I think there were a couple little, uh, yeah, some little bowls and stuff, you know, cups and saucers, little milk glass uh, container here that was um, a vintage piece. So I picked that up and put it in my basket. Coffee mugs, um, colanders, you know, you can do all sorts of things with, with those. Here's like a little wood basket. And then just like water bottles and cooking stuff here are some big wall pieces they were like uh, big pieces you could hang on your wall a really neat uh, black and white uh, canvas and then here were some neat pieces um, this is like a plate rack or something that you hang on your wall and these were just some really neat candlesticks and then over here is a, like a little container um, or a little I don't know mirror that opens up and you can put stuff inside at first I thought it was like a jewelry box but it wasn't so maybe like a little medicine cabinet type thing it just didn't have any shelves in it and then over here on the other side were some really uh, big chunky candle holders that I thought were pretty and they actually had the candles with them so it was two of them for $10.99. So $10.99 for the set, I thought that was a great price. And here are some of the fake books that actually open up and you can store stuff in them and a little uh, birdhouse. And then here is two candlesticks and a vase and it was $9.99. Okay, I'm super excited to show you what treasures I brought home. I was really disappointed that I lost the footage for this, but I found these pheasant milk glass uh, coffee mugs and I love them. They were 50 cents each. Then I found that milk glass bowl and um, this uh, grape milk glass little plate and I found this bird pitcher for $2 and this really cool piece with chicken wire and it was super dirty and purple, but I will totally flip all of these things. And these little finial, um, fleur-de-lis finials. And there is that little uh, fake plant and these little plant stands. I also didn't end up having them on my uh, video, but here is a big chunky one. And then there is those uh, salt and pepper shakers. But look at the, uh, lines on that i just love that i also found this clock um it doesn't work so i'm going to do something cool with it um, i ended up finding a couple of books that were really neat um, and old looking and then i found um this big book that was really cool um, it said patina style and it just had a whole bunch of really beautiful pictures and kind of how to get that patina style um, when you're decorating. So I just think this is a really beautiful book to put on my coffee table. And then of course I had to pick up this picture. It was only $2 and I looked it up and it is worth a lot more money than $2. I'm going to actually go get it appraised. And then I got the two green pillows. I ended up paying a dollar each for them and they're going to be perfect in my living room for spring. I also found this big, chunky, heavy wooden clock. And I think I'll take the clock out and just use the frame of it. It was 
And then there is that comforter. Again, you can't really see the beautiful pink that it is, but it had the two shams and the comforter. So I'll take pictures of it um, on my daughter's bed. And it is so soft and fluffy and she just loves it. I also found this red bird lamp that I'm going to flip and then this Hamilton Beach uh, smoothie maker for $1.50 and there is that white pitcher and this little glass thing that looked like a bell and then I brought home this beautiful pitcher for spring with these darling little birds. I also got this little pedestal or candle holder and that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and remember you can head on over to Rethink Fabulous on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you saw. Hit the notification bell and become a subscriber that way you don't miss any of my future videos. And with all of that being said, be on the lookout for my next video where I show you how I flipped a lot of these items in this video. See you soon.